Hi guys, Travel Days here. My name is Adil. I'm originally from Morocco, living here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Today I'm going out to eat. I'm here in uh, Bukit Bintan area in Kuala Lumpur, okay? So I am hungry. I'm gonna eat something here at a restaurant right in front of me. And then we will probably go somewhere else. Let's go spend the day in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. This is Bukit Bintan. Okay, very very famous spot for tourists full of um, hotels restaurants and a lot of other things okay so let's go out and eat all right this is a uh, Indian Malaysian restaurant right here a Sharifa Sarifa and it is a nice big hotel here at the corner of uh, uh, these trees here, I can't remember the name of these trees, I think Jalan Alor. Okay, so let's go out and eat. This uh, chicken, fish, eggs, and then fried fish, and all kind of curries, black sauce, uh, chili, uh, not chili, uh, can't remember the name of the sauce. You know, black sauce, the soya bean ketchup, ketchup, it's called ketchup, black soya bean sauce. Okay, as you can see, it's quite quite nice, it's a lot of variety. And the restaurant is super, super. This, this restaurant has been here for a very, very long time. Okay, so let's choose something and let's eat. Okay, all right, so this is my food, it's chicken, you got some sauce there. And then, uh, and then some veggies, an egg. Oh, he gave me the lamb. I asked him only for the sauce, but he gave me the lamb, but that's okay. All right, so this is my meal. It's, it's uh, some lamb, rice, chicken, egg, and vegetables, and iced lemon tea, okay? And we are in Bukit Bintan area. We're gonna go to the main street up up here to the right and see what's going on. Usually it's busy during the night time, but it's only one o'clock now, so let's eat first. This is very very nice. A little bit spicy, the lamb curry. A little bit spicy. Vegetables are soft. Chicken I haven't tried yet, and the egg is quite nice. I'm trying the lamb first. Very very nice, please. I have eaten in this place so many times before, but I have been here. I have not been here for a while, so I'm just gonna finish the food and then take a walk. And everybody's looking at me. Well, not everybody, you. But that's not bad. All right, so the food was very nice. Uh, I found it a little bit pricey. Okay, about five dollars for like simple, simple food. But he gave me the lamp, and I didn't ask for it. I just asked for the sauce of the lamb, but he gave me the lamb. <laughs> uh, so yes, let's see, I don't have no ticket because I parked on the side of the street and then let's go this way to the main street, okay? Look at this, it's a beautiful side street here in uh, Bukit Bintan, Kuala Lumpur, quite nice. I like this kind of uh, buildings, you know, nicely colored and everything. Okay, so welcome to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Uh, I haven't made a video for quite a while because I've been a little bit busy trying to prepare for a trip. Uh, maybe the first week of May. Maybe the first week of May, um, I will make another trip because I have not traveled for six months. So I need to go somewhere. So that's why I'm a little bit busy. And uh, but every every time I have uh, the opportunity to come down here, I make a video. Oh, the whole building is is colored. Look at that, beautiful. The whole building behind me is nicely done. Okay. Look at that. This building was just normal. It was just like the other buildings over there. But they painted it nice. I like this. And then the street is also painted. Okay. Alright, so let's go up to the main road. 
you know where this where the restaurants and everything are usually it's busy during the daytime during the night time you know but you know I'm not gonna be here at night so let's just take a look in Bukit Bintan there are so so many small hotels you know you don't have to stay in big expensive hotels you see like this one Hotel Melange and then right next to it is like a house guest house right there you see that white one and then there is another one right over there and then there are quite a few on the main streets there so there are like uh, quite a few uh, cheap hotels you know look at that so if you come to Kuala Lumpur you don't have to stay in expensive like five-star hotels or like you know there, there, there are there are many expensive hotels here but if you come to the Bukit Bintan area there is a lot of these kind of small hotels you know maybe uh, maybe 25 to 30 dollars uh, a, a night you know so uh, so it's not that bad okay about 30 dollars 30 dollars 35 something like that okay all right and then a lot of massage places here as you can see this stretch is like <laughs> they're hiding their faces no problem most of these people are probably from Myanmar. Hello. So as you can see, they're hiding their faces. <laughs> uh, it's funny, nobody wants to be filmed. You know, a lot of people here are from Myanmar and few of them are from Thailand, you know? Because I had a, a massage here before and, and I talked to the people here, Myanmar and Thailand, so. So oh yeah, so we could be in town all the way down there. The big hotel there. And then we're gonna go to the main street here. Okay. So you can see, so all these streets are massage, massage area. All right, so I made it up the hill. It's super hot. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm gonna be very, very quick with this video. Not, not a very long video, of course. Okay, we could be in town. Well, I'm poor. There is another hotel over there. Hotel Imperial, as you can see right there, that one. And there's quite a few hotels also on the main road this way, this way. There's a lot of hotels around here. Even even the main road, this one that, that I'm on, has a few hotels. So you don't have to pay a lot of money or stay in a very expensive hotel when you come here to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, uh, come to Bukit, Bukit Bintan area and walk around. Walk around what, what the front streets, back streets, and the main streets, where the you know where the, all these uh, restaurants and stuff are. These streets right here at night is super busy. I have filmed it quite a few times. I have some videos here. You know all seafood restaurants. Some a few of them are open. A lot of them are not because they do their business at night. You know. It's very very crowded here at night it's very nice atmosphere a lot of people are drinking and eating but this is the daytime so the stalls are open most of the stalls here are open but not much of the restaurants even if some of them are are open but because these restaurants open until late at night I think until three o'clock or something they're still open so that's why they don't open early in the morning okay you see a lot of products come in, a lot of seafood coming in trucks. So, so yeah. So actually, the whole street is quite, it's quite uh, empty, as you can see. It's very empty. There's nothing going on here. Okay. So let's go to the main streets. Let's go to the front streets right there. And there is quite a few for these KK uh, shops. They're like uh, 7-Eleven. It's a convenience store. You see, there's quite a few of them here in Malaysia. I mean, a lot of them here in Malaysia and quite a few of them here in Bukit Bintan. I like, I like this one, I like this KK because they have a lot of products, so much. Like more than, you can find a lot more products here than in 7-Eleven. And, uh, you know, eggs, chips, chocolate, so, much, so many drinks, you know, and their prices are cheap. So they are very famous here in in Malaysia. You can buy you can buy a lot of stuff from there. As you can see, a lot of tourists here. You see, even daytime because they stay in hotels around here. Okay, 
So the main road is this way, and there is a, uh, a durian place here. That one at the corner right there, and you can go inside and sit down and eat. They choose your durian. You see that? With the price, like 50, the cheapest, I think it's uh, 50 ringgit, about 15 US dollars, about 13 US dollars per kilo. Okay? And uh, I think there is another one over there, but it's, it's a very small one, very tiny one. This one is big because it has like a sitting area at the back there. You can order your, uh, your durian and then go back, you can weigh it here and pay and go back there and sit down sit down right there one of these tables and eat the durian okay in Bukit Bintan area Jalan Alor and let me show you the durian from very very close perspective yeah 70 ringgit per kilo 90 ringgit per kilo and 50 the cheapest is 50 okay so the cheapest is like 13, I would say between 13 and 15 US dollars per kilo. Okay, so it's, it's not cheap. Tourists, quite a few tourists here, especially at night. If you come at night time, you'll see a lot of tourists. Okay. And as I said, there is a hotel here, Hotel Imperial. There was another hotel down there, just down there, but I think they are renovating it or something. You know? Train, uh, train station here. Okay. There, there used to be a KFC at that corner right there, which says Family Karaoke something superstar. You know, there was a KFC, very famous KFC, very very busy. I don't know why it closed. Now there is something else there. And this one is one of the mo most famous places here in Bukit Bintan. It's called Chinese beef roti. And it's very, very famous. I, li I like it. I uh, have uh, tried it quite a few times. You see, they're making the bread stuffed with, the, with either like beef or chicken. So you can see, I don't know if you, you can see it from uh, right there. That's how they make it. Let me see. That's the bread right there. Okay. And it's very, very busy. Usually there is a long queue here. The queue like stretches from back here. You see how he makes it. That's the dough. And then he fills it up with like onions and either chicken or, or beef. And then they fry it. They put it into patties like that and then they fry it. Comes out very, very nice, okay? I've tried it before. It's about a dollar, like uh, a dollar like five ringgit for chicken and six ringgit for for beef I like the beef one so the beef one is about a dollar 20 cents dollar 30 cents something like that you know it's a money changers of course here but I would recommend if you come into Bukit Bintan I would I would recommend not to change money in these kind of money changers there are quite a few here because the rate here is not that great. I go to a place called Mead Valley Mall. I will put it in the description box, the name of the mall, where um, the, best, the best rates. I mean, you can take taxi there. The mall is nice and big. You can, you can enjoy the, you know, your, your time there also. See that mall because it's one of the oldest malls here in Kuala Lumpur. It's called Mead Valley. Uh, and then the, the best the best money changers are there every time I want to travel I go there and I change the money there for uh, the best race possible do not change money in the bank here in Malaysia do not go to the bank and change money the rate is not that high okay always use a money changer and always use the ones in it in Mid Valley you can change money here but you're not gonna get the best rates okay so there is quite a, you see like a money changer sign there, like few hotels here also. At least about six to eight hotels, only on the streets right here. Only on the street. You see like small, from small ones, like there is a hotel there near the KK, the Starion Hotel, that one. It's like two stars or something, you know, that would be probably $25. 
you know. Only on the streets, I would say about eight, eight to nine hotels. Uh, but if you go down on the other streets that we just came from, there is a lot more hotels there, okay? So we're just taking a walk in Bukit Bintan area. Um, not much to do, it started raining actually. It was hot, just like few, few, like half an hour ago, it was super, super hot. And now it's like super cool. And not crowded, I like to come during the daytime because it's not crowded at all, okay? If you come at night, especially in the restaurant area, very busy, okay? So let's, let's go. My, my hand is getting tired holding the, the camera, okay? All right, so uh, yeah, it's just a Thai, uh, you know, Thai Mart, you know, selling Thai products, drinks and stuff. And this is Bukit Bintan. Nice, very nice place, okay? And I like it, as I said, I like it when it's not crowded. I'm not gonna go all the way down to Pavilion Mall. Because I'm worried it's gonna rain. All right, so I think I'm just gonna go back to the car before it starts raining. I don't have the umbrella with me. Uh, beef roti, Chinese beef roti. Yeah, it started raining. Okay, let's run, let's hide, okay, before it starts, before the rain gets worse. You know, I gotta get as close to the car as possible. Ooh, okay. Rain, rain, rain. Okay, let's go. Chinese restaurants everywhere here in Bukit Bintan. As you can see, quite nice. And you see the rain? It started raining. I told you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go. I don't have an umbrella. I wish I brought it with me. The smell of durian, man. You can you come close to it, you smell it. All right, so let's hide uh, near the KK. Look at that rain. Wow. It rains almost every afternoon now, sometimes even in the morning, and it doesn't stop the whole day, okay? A durian, please. This one is very famous. You come to Bukit Bintan, you're gonna see it. Okay? That's a fighting. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so last look at Bukit Bintan in the rain. And very empty now nobody's on the streets <laughs> uh, okay so let's get out of here I'm so tired I want this video to be a quick quick video okay uh, I don't know what I'm gonna go next where I'm gonna go next because of the rain